Okay, so here we are with uh, question number five, and this comes in two parts, and they're both a little bit tricky, you just need to keep your wits about them. You're given lots of information in an advert about some uh, summer holidays, and you're given the different price structures for the, the different amounts of time, depending on when you're going away on holiday. And you're also told some notes here, um, that prices are for per adult, if you're 16 years or over, and if you're uh, under 16 years, you have to pay, you pay less, you pay three quarters of the price or 75% of the price. And you get 10% discount if you book online. Now, Martha books a 14 night holiday in May. So 14 nights in May, May's in here. So she books that one there, £400 per adult. And she books for herself, her husband, Billy, and her daughter, Mary. And she books online, and we need to explain that the cost is going to come out as 990. So we know the answer, but we just need to get to that answer and explain the working. It's very important that we explain clearly what's going on. Well, we can look and we can see that Martha and Billy is equal to two lots of the 400 pounds, which is 800 pounds. That's the cost for them. For Mary, however, we need to work out 75% of the cost. Now we can do that on our calculators. I've just done it here without, and, and you can check my answers. We know the full adult cost is a hundred uh, is four hundred pounds. We know half the adult cost would therefore for be two hundred pounds, and a quarter of the cost will be one hundred pounds. We want to find out. 75% of the adult price. So it's going to be these two together. So that tells us that Mary is going to pay £300. So together, the cost for the family is 800 plus 300, which is equal to £1,100 or £1,100. Okay? And if we got that, we get two of the four marks, which is quite uh, straightforward to do to start with. Now, in order to work out the discount, we've got to find out 10% and take it off. So the discount we're going to find in the following way. So 100% is the 1,100. So therefore 10%, we're not going to halve it like we did here, we're going to divide it by 10, is 1,100 pounds. And so if you found out that's what the discount was going to be, we get our third mark. And then we can find the final cost. All we've got to do is take the £1,100 of the holiday, and we've got to take off £110, which is the discount they get for booking online. And we get £990, and that would be our fourth mark, just explaining what we've done. So you can see clearly how I explained what I was doing, and in the exam you can see exactly what's done and whose cost was what. Martha and Billy was here, Mary was there, the discount is written here, it's all very clearly written out, which is really important to get all four marks on this. Let's look at the second one. Again, this is quite a tricky one as well. I think this one's a bit more tricky. It's only worth three marks, but you've got to keep... There's a little calculation you've got to do. This time, Salima books a seven-night holiday in April. So she only goes to seven nights, and this time in April, so we're looking at the £315 cost. And she books for two adults. So two adults is equal to two times 315, which is equal to £630. However, her total cost was £642.60. So... That's how much it was advertised for, 630. But actually, when she paid in the uh, when she paid for the travel agent, she actually paid 642 pounds 60. So if you do that, 642 pounds 60 minus 630. Sorry about my pound size, a bit dodgy there. And you get that there was a 12 pounds 60 surcharge, and that's what the travel agents was like their booking fee. So if we've worked out that £12.60, if you've indicated that, it's £1. Now the thing you need to remember is you want to work out the percentage surcharge. So to do that, to find out the percentage of something, you need the change of something divided by 
the original amount and you need to times it by 100. So how something's changed divided by originally what it started as times it by 100. So in this case, it's gone up, the price went up 12.6 or £12.60. The original price was 630, started at 630 and went up by this amount. And then we need to times that by 100. And that will turn into a percentage for us. And if you do that on our calculators, remembering this is a calculator paper, you will get this answer here gives you 0 0.02. When you times by 100, it gives you the answer 2, which is therefore means that the 1260 was a 2% uh, surcharge. It was 2% of the £630. There's a couple of other ways of doing it, but I like this way. This change divided by original is times by 100. Uh, doing some kind of calculation here, that gets you the second mark, and the third mark is returning it to a percentage by times it by 100. Straightforward there, hopefully. If not, actually, sorry, no, it wasn't straightforward. So go back, you might want to watch this video again, and look at part A and part B, because it's just quite a lot of marks here, and you just need to follow through and work close, uh, clearly and logically, showing all your answers as you go along. Okay? So replay it if you need to.